given a set of points in the plane, we study the length of the perimeter of their convex hull. The points in the data set are imprecise, which means their positions are not fixed. Each of them is only known to be inside a certain convex region of the plane, called its uncertainty region. The length of the perimeter of the convex hull varies with the position of the points, and lies in an interval between a minimum value and a maximum value. In this video, we study the problem of finding the minimum value. Our first finding is that the function giving the length of the perimeter is convex. For a given set of points, here in blue, and another set of points, in purple, we can do a continuous affine transformation from one set to the other. We examine the length of the perimeter during the affine transformation. We find that the length function is convex. In fact, we can prove that the function is smooth as long as the sequence of points on the perimeter of the convex hull does not change. Also, the second derivative is non-negative. When points of the point set coincide during the affine transformation, the derivative of the length function jumps, but the function remains convex. Since the length function is convex, and it is defined on a convex region, we can conclude that any local optimum of the function is also a global optimum. We find that, when a set of points is a local optimum, there are only four different possible situations for an imprecise point in its uncertainty region. In type A, the point is on an extreme point of the region. Moving the point around the extreme point makes the perimeter of the convex hull longer. The perimeter of the convex hull bounces on a line that is tangent to the uncertainty region. In type B, the point is on a segment of the boundary of the region. Moving the point around makes the perimeter of the convex hull longer. The perimeter bounces on the boundary of the uncertainty region. Type C can only happen when some uncertainty regions intersect. The imprecise points of both uncertainty regions are on the intersection of the boundaries of the regions. It is impossible to make the perimeter shorter by moving the points around the intersection whenever the angles meet the following conditions. Finally, points of type 0 are those that can move around freely without changing the length of the perimeter. We propose a method for finding an optimum based on maintaining each imprecise point in one of these four states. For simplicity, we demonstrate the method on uncertainty regions that are segments. We fix an imprecise point on the rightmost point of all uncertainty regions. Then, we tie a rubber band to this fixed point and wrap it around all uncertainty regions. We simulate the motions of points moving in their uncertainty regions as they are caught by the rubber band and moved around by the forces exerted on them. During the process, the imprecise points are kept in one of the four valid states. The points flash red to indicate they change from one state to another. After the uncertainty regions are wrapped, we relax the rightmost point of its fixed position and let the elastic rubber band settle. During the process, only a small number of events can happen. The event 0 to A happens when an imprecise point is caught by the rubber band on an extreme point of its uncertainty region. The event A to B happens when an imprecise point starts sliding along the boundary of its uncertainty region. The event A to 0 happens when a point is freed by the rubber band as it moves. The event B to A happens when a sliding point is caught at the end of the segment it is sliding along. By keeping all points in a valid position during the process, we are guaranteed to find an optimum. When uncertainty regions intersect, we need more events to deal with points of type C. When a point of type B is going to leave an uncertainty region, it becomes of type C, and the rubber band rotates around it 
until the points can start sliding along the other uncertainty region. We now discuss the complexity of our method. It is easy to find the next event of the process in quadratic time. However, the number of events itself during the whole process can be exponential. In this example, on the four green segments, each imprecise point generates twice more events than the following one. Recall that the points flash red whenever they change states. We can see how often this happens on the four green segments. Nevertheless, our method allows to solve the problem on very general instances, including when uncertainty regions intersect. Furthermore, we believe that for most instances, the number of events is linear in the size of the problem.